Hey everybody, this is Dan for Gaming D on Cars. Now, if you are new to the channel, you should hit that subscribe button. If you are not new to the channel, welcome. Uh, today's topic is already the picture on my desktop. Today we're going to be talking about what I think is quite possibly one of the best uh, sports cars there is around. Um, this car is the BMW M2 CS. This is the final version of the most hardcore of the 2 Series lineup in BMW. Now, I just earlier this week released a video about my walk around of an M2 competition but this car is a little bit more this car has like 45 more horsepower lots more carbon fiber it has gold wheels if you can see right here so let's get right into it alright so this is uh, once again my favorite website Jalopnik talking about this car this is the 2020 BMW M2 CS um, the CS stands for Coupe Sport um, it says it sends the 2 Series out with lots of carbon fiber. Now I think the, the hood, the roof, um, are all carbon fiber now, and the mirrors. Um, but yeah, this car has um, 50, about 50 more horsepower. This is the S55 uh, BMW motor, twin turbo, inline 6, uh, 444 horsepower, and 406 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, that is just crazy. Now... I'm going to say that this is the perfect BMW sports car, even though in this video I said that the M2 competition is the perfect sports car for my money. But the reason that this car finished in Misano blue is even more perfect is because you can get this car in a six speed manual. Okay? Rear wheel drive, 444 horsepower, six speed manual. I mean, what more do you want? It's it's perfect. It's the perfect car. Now I really like. Uh, there's a couple little tweaks that they've done. Nothing too crazy. There's just basically more carbon fiber. You can see on the mirrors here. Uh, Penny's walking around over there. On the mirrors and the hood and the roof, like I said before, and there's a little carbon fiber splitter down here, which this color is fantastic. I I love this color. I feel like my next car needs to be blue. Um, I just love this color. Yeah, there's a little more carbon fiber over here, too. But yeah, on the inside, just look at this shot. I mean, this this is just an absolutely beautiful shot. I feel like I'm going to use this as my thumbnail picture whenever this uh, I do this video. But the interior, let's see if we can get there. The interior is like a heavy dose of uh, Alcantara. Okay, you've got Alcantara on the steering wheel up here. Um, this CS thing is just like the M3 and M4 CS, which I did a video with. She's doing anyway, but this car, this actually has the holes in the seats, just like the M3 and M4 CS. It's this is really weird that they released this car this week because I have my video of the M2 this week, and I even said in that video you should go watch that. I said I wonder if the CS version will have the holes in the seats, and there it is right there. So I think their BMW is doing an updated version of the 2 Series, and I'm sure an M2. Uh, coming out soon with rear wheel drive and all wheel drive because obviously they're making SUVs like crazy and they could still justify doing this car along with the M3 and M4 which that's a topic for another day which I've talked about that before but the big kidney girls are too big anyway but we're talking about this car now and it's yeah I've gone through over most of this car in my other video but this car has more power hey Penny let's let me show you what Penny's doing Hey Penny. Penny. Penny, come here. What are you doing? Are you gonna get your fox? What's she doing? What's she's doing? She's looking around. Okay. okay. So anyway, I really think this car would be an incredible car to have in your collection if you can afford it. I'm sure the the M2 competition, I think, started something like sixty-five thousand dollars. So this is probably seventy to seventy-five, which is a lot of money. Now, another thing I mentioned in my other video is that the M2 competition, uh, this car, was in a comparison between a Mustang GT350, a Porsche 718 Cayman, and a Supra. And this car actually finished dead last, which not in, not for my money, absolutely not. I would get this. I mean. I'm not a Mustang guy. I would never buy one. I just, I just wouldn't. That's not my thing. I prefer the German cars, but this CS even sweetens the package even more. Hello, hello. Okay, let's talk to them. 
So anyway, I would totally buy this car, like I said, if I had the money. Now another thing that is interesting, uh, BMW blog did a machine, uh, an article about this car. Say hi, Penny. Can you say hi? Say hi, everybody. <laughs> anyway, they, they made a point. Here, sit down. They made a point to say that um, in the early 2000s, BMW could really do no wrong. I mean, their 3 Series and 5 Series were winning just about every single automotive publication. And it says now they're more uh, focused on uh, technological advancements. But they're saying this car is really like a return to form because of... I think this is a better looking car than the current 3 Series and 4 Series. You know, not the new version, but the ones that were out. But they're saying that this car is every bit as good as what the cars were in the early 2000s. Now, I'm an Audi owner, but I've always loved BMWs, but my theory is that I love BMWs for what they were, and I love Audis for what they are right now. Like, early 2000s, BMW is my favorite with the E46 M3 and the E39 M5. But anyway, they're saying this car is really getting back to their roots with the two with the M2 CS so I what else is there to say I think it looks great it's got power I mean 444 horsepower 6 speed manual 0 to 60 in about 4 seconds what more do you want in life yeah, adaptive M suspension M Sport brakes I think you can get carbon ceramics but I don't think you really need them I love the gold wheels I would buy in this car this uh, color 100 percent so yeah this is the M2 CS. What do you guys think? What do you think, Penny? You like it? Penny would probably get an Alpine white one. I think so. So yeah, there it is right there. Six-speed manual. So I wanted to do, uh, she wants to get down. I wanted to do a quick video about this car, and it's just funny how it came out this week because I just did my video on the other M2. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. I love this car. It's a perfect car. Honestly, for my money, I think it's perfect. So don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'm doing a review of a Hyundai Palisade this weekend. I'm very excited for that, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.